Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the Shazza bringing you a video on Duel Links today. It's been a while, I know, but um, today's video we're going to jump into some PvP with a Gravekeeper deck and see how well it does because I haven't played this game for a while and yeah, let's see if Gravekeepers can still keep up with the meta. I have no idea what it is, but yeah, let's do it. First we'll review the deck that I am going to use and I've popped it up on the screen right now and I'll just go over it real quick. Um, it's a pretty simple Gravekeeper deck, but I've added a Dark Freed. So we got our two Oracle, the big boy himself. Um, I'm hoping that he's still good with the new cards that are out and everything. I don't know. We'll find out. What else do we have? We've got the Dark General Freed. Really, really, really good card. Can't be special summon negate any effect that targets a face-up Dark Monster you control. Which is pretty cool because every single one of your Gravekeepers are Dark types. So it works really, really well. And um, we got the three chief because he's the main engine. We've got the one jester. Some people run two, but I find it perfect running one. I've got the three recruits and the two priestess. Some people run three priestess. There's nothing wrong with running three. It's just I prefer two. Um, two soul exchanges. Um, three sometimes can be overwhelming. Like if you start an opening hand and you have too many soul exchanges, not enough monsters, it can be really devastating. So two is really, really good. Two double summons, not three, because you don't want to clutter up your hand. A, I'm running an Ansi, one of the best cards for a Gravekeeper deck, because you can get oracles to your hands so easily, and there's not a lot of 10-star monsters out there in people's decks. So you, it's pretty devastating towards them. They have to discard a card, plus they deal it. No, they take 1,000 damage. Really, really cool. And there are three enemy controllers. And the game's been out for quite a while, and a lot of people have had time to actually manage to farm the Gravekeeper cards. So, hopefully, you guys can copy this deck and try it out for yourselves, if it goes well. We'll find out. I'm pretty positive this deck can reach King of Games, because it's Gravekeepers. But, as you can see, I've like done hardly any battles. I don't even think I've done one, so let's just jump in and see what we can do. Like, there's some events out right now, I'm not too sure what they're about, but the Paradox Brothers are back, which is pretty cool. Um, I managed to max them out and do everything last time they was around, but there's new cards, so I'm, I'll probably make a few videos on farming the Paradox Brothers and doing all that crazy stuff. So, here's the first battle. Going against a Silver 4, and we're only Silver 1. Uh, T. Gardner. Taya Gardner, or T. Gardner, if you watch your bridge. Let's see what our opening hand looks like. Eh. It could be worse, I'm going to keep it. I'm running Restart as well because Restart's a really, really good ability. Or skill. Let's see what they do. So they just end the turn. So what I might do is... I'll just set down the Priestess this turn. Set that down. End my turn. Like I said, I'm out of the loop on the meta, so they could be planning something and I'm falling into the trap, I have no idea. I'm just going to keep playing the game like I know how to play it, and hopefully... Oh, they just ended a turn, so I think this is an easy victory. They don't seem to be doing anything. So we'll, go, we'll activate Anti right now, just to see what they got in the hand. Obviously we click the Oracle. I don't think there's um, any other big monster. Let's see. Even Blue Ice is only 8 star, so... No matter what, they'll be discarding a card and taking a thousand right now. That's if they'd like to make the move. We'll find out. Yeah, it's been a while. I've not uploaded or been on this game for a, for a hot minute. But hopefully I'll be getting back into it. Um, fall in love again with the game bring you guys some amazing decks, some fun decks, some crazy strategies, and some PvP fights and everything. So he's got a Dark Witch in his hand, which he didn't play for some reason, so he has to discard that. Um, right now I'll bring... ooh, actually. I'll bring out the Oracle. Because if we brought out Chief, we had nothing in the graveyard to like do anything with, so we might as well bring this out. And go for some damage, he probably has the Kuribo, we'll see. Nope, no Kribo. So we win next turn if he doesn't have anything. If he manages to destroy our monster as well, we can Oracle. Um, not Oracle. Bring out the Chief. And we're sorted. So we're in pretty good shape right now. 
What's he going to do? So he sets down a card. I have no idea if Windstorm is still in the meta, but um, I'll probably play around it. Ah. It's this deck. <laughs> so, yeah. We're not going to let him do that right now. I don't know if that was the best play, but I'm still rusty, guys. I've not played in a while. It's just I didn't want him bringing out all of his strong monsters this turn. Hopefully we can draw a, a... The Jester would be the best. If we pull a Jester or a Soul Exchange, we're in pretty good shape. But we need to somehow get rid of this thing. Let's see what we can pull. Enemy controller. So it looks like we're going to be taking some damage right now. Actually, I think we might die. We'll see what happens. I should have known what I were by the five extra deck, but yeah. Oh well. We're probably going to get end up getting destroyed first game back, and we're going to get absolutely obliterated. <laughs> but it's okay. That's if they like to make the turn. But we are in... Oh, he's going to destroy this. That's fine. No point in activating it because he can throw his monster straight. Oh, he's... He basically pulled all the combos that he needed to. So it didn't matter that we used the Econ the turn before because he would have just destroyed our back row anyway. Here comes Life Cross Zero, here comes the big monsters, and that's going to be game. And we are in like the bottom, bottom league, silver, 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and 5. So some of the duels people are going to take forever. Wait, what? I thought I was going to see like a blue ice ultimate. <laughs> Uh, oh, alright. They're just doing that to draw two cards and then they'll activate its effects again to probably bring out the Blue Ice Ultimate. I think. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Send one face up non effect monster. Da. And. There we go. There's the Blue Ice Ultimate. Right, kill us. Kill me. Right, you just... You, I have nothing. I have two cards in my hand, nothing on the field. Just attack me. Stop throwing cards down. There we go. Are they going to attack me? They... I thought they were going to get cocky and just end the turn after attacking me with their cyber. Oh well, first game down the drain. But there was nothing much we could do when we get stormed, and then they bring out that, and then they bring out Blue Ice Ultimate. Plus we rushed into the battle if we um, just waited. If, I think if we waited the turn after, yeah, it would have not mattered because, I don't I don't know. I think there was a way of winning that. If there was, comment it down below. <laughs> because, I, 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 yeah, I'm rusty, like I said, guys. So be patient. I will get my mojo back. We'll do th um, two more games, I think, depending on how they go. Hopefully it's not against the same person. Nope, we're going against a Japanese player, Silver 2. Yummy Yuki! Okay. So if they... let's try and demote them with their ginormous 30 card deck, but every time... everyone always knows this, when you bump into a 30 card deck, they always draw exactly what they need. Um, I think I will use a skill. It was a pretty good hand, but I want to see if we can get like a recruiter or one or two spells. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. So we set that and then that's it. This hand's a lot better. Because we've got the recruiters to search out the monsters that we need. We've got the soul exchange. It's, it's pretty good. Unless they summon that and attack us directly. <laughs> Just our luck. Just our look. Right, let's see what we draw into. Another recruiter. Um, D 
Lip. No more swimming. Collateral. We get our free search. We will grab the chief. And get 1,400 directly. E, there we go. And then when they summon the monster next turn, we'll be able to soul exchange it off for our chief. And pull back a recruiter. Unless we can draw an oracle right now, which would be pretty... Ooh, what's that? A nice barrier. Da, 1,900. That's not bad, that. That's one of the new cards, I'm guessing. <laughs> I've, I've not seen that before. Oh, unlucky for him. Hmm... So what I will do is play the Soul Exchange, because that's 1,900 and it's scary. It's a scary monster. Be gone. Bring out Chief and then we'll pull back a Recruiter. Just in case he wants to destroy our Recruiter and we get a free search. And if he doesn't want to destroy our Recruiter, we can tribute it off for the Oracle and we're in pretty good shape and we probably won. But he might have some of the mad new cards that I know nothing about. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see what happens. We're in pretty good shape right now, I think. We'll see what happens. So he summons... Hey, what's that? 1,700... No effects. So he's probably... Actually, no, he can't even kill the recruiter. Ooh, Mystic Box. I don't see the point in that, but okay. Thank you, I guess. So right now we could, could, could we? We could. I'll do that. Tribute off our recruiter for a chief. Our chief's ability activates, and then we can pull out a recruiter. Chiefs and Recruiters for days. The main function of the whole Grey Peeper deck is Chiefs and Recruiters. And then when things get too hairy or scary or monsters' attacks get too high, then you bring out the Oracle. And yeah, there we go. There's a victory. Yay! Our first victory back. We are yet to draw the Freed either, because the Freed's are really, really powerful in this deck. Um, I don't know how two would go, but I can see two working. Ooh, two victories. So, so I have played a duel before. Yeah, yeah. We'll experiment round with like running a few um, two freeds, dark freeds in the deck. See how that goes. But I might just keep it to one because it's just there, just in case. And once you get on the field and like set up, you're completely fine because you're. Gravekeepers can't be enemy controlled or destroyed by any spells, or well, just targeted by spells. So it's pretty powerful. Win and we win and we win. So we're both in our rank up game. It, it, I think it's the same person. Um, I'll keep this hand. I will. I'll just set that in my turn. I think, yeah. I think that's the best play. We've got the Yancy as well, and we've got the Chief. And the Double Summon, so we're in pretty good shape. Depending on what he does, obviously, we can search out another Recruiter if we need it. Double Summon, bring out Chief, bring out Recruiter back, and there's a, there's, there's a few combos that we can do. So it is the exact same person. So we know exactly what they're trying to do. Uh, so I will set the Priestess, end my turn. I'm only going to do it so I can get an, um, a one turn kill on them, or like whittle them down so they can't activate their effect. We'll, we'll... Plus we know they're running storms. There's the Witch. Hopefully they attack the middle. Ah, oh, they can get off that. That's fine though. So we draw, ooh, ooh, the 
plays. No more summon this. So we just got something in the back row. Oh, it's just a jar of greed. Tribute that for this. Bring back you in defense mode? And then I'll just attack over it. We're only taking 300 damage, so they can't activate their effects. We'll see what else they can do. I don't think it's much. We'll see right now. And I'm... Um, yeah. With this deck, I don't like really put loads of stuff on the back row except for the enemy controllers, so their storms are useless. For now. Thinking about what they can do, I don't think there is much they can do right now except throw a face down. There's another face down. I would activate anti, but I'll just bring them down closer to using their effect, and we don't want that. Unless they set their whole hand, <laughs> which they're going to do. Let's see what we draw into. Ooh, there's the Oracle. Do I want to actually activate the anti? I'm going to do it. I'll watch it, I'm see. It's going to be a risky move, but I think we can still win this. So they're getting rid of a storm. No, 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 I don't want to tribute all three of my monsters. No. Naughty. One. Tribute the recruiter. Activate Oracle to destroy his face down. And we will pull a... Yeah, we'll pull another Oracle to our hand. Um, I should have kept that into defense. Then this turn I will... I'll just end my turn. I'll just end my turn. I can't remember if their ability activates when they're 1,000 or lower. I think it does. This is Soul Exchange. Uh, what I'll... What I'll... Ah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, I'll just go for an attack. See if we can win this. Oh, we've, we've won. We've won. I was playing that risky because I was thinking maybe they got Golden Apples or Windstorm or something, but yeah, it, it worked. And I can see this deck working against like Dragons or Harpies if they stole a thing, or yeah, all the other main decks that are out there. Creep Keepers are still a really powerful deck, I'm seeing, even though I'm real, at really low level, but I'll keep dueling with Grave Keepers. They seem to be doing well. And I'll bring some more videos as well um, to do with like Grave Keepers or some of the new decks. I'll open up some um, boxes, make some crazy decks because I really want to make a frog deck because I've seen that that's a thing. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you liked, please leave a like and um, leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.